mind. I am Captain Planet! So the first duel was starting with one piece sprout, cherub sprout, one pot of avarice, double silver charity and a fertilizer. Paul and were going first, so we can activate charity, draw a few cards, put a few others on the top on the bottom of the deck, activate Marshall Leaf, get some cards, Cherub Sprout, Miracle Fertilizer will trigger with Summon Jasmine, Tribute Jasmine, Sage Goya is on the top, we're going to use Pot of Avarice, draw some more cards, activate Rosebow, get Sage Goya and pass. Very, very intriguing and very powerful turn. Of course, I am very... very... sarcastic about this. But we'll start with doing shit. Rosebell, summon... set a card on the, f on the field, summon Cherub Sprout, Milko Mushroomo, no, another card, Sylvan Charity, activate cards, activate... activate... Activate a card, and I'll now activate a card, and I'll activate a card, and I'll activate Rose Lover, a uh, Lone Fire Blossom, all of them times. To summon Copy Plants, so I can summon I'll say, put the card on the top of the opponent's deck, and attack. And the opponent just scoops. So, duel number two, we're starting with Mount Sylvania, Lone Fire Blossom, Rose Ball of Revelation, Miracle Fighter Riser, and Terraforming. Unfortunately, we're going second since the opponent is going first. We'll start by activating the German Country, setting a monster and two cards face down and passing. That was kind of sad. Now, we'll activate the Lone Fire Blossom to summon Lone Fire Blossom, then we'll use Lone Fire Blossom to summon Lone Fire Blossom, and we'll use Lone Fire Blossom to summon something else. Okay, he's going to activate Royal Decree on our terraforming, which is fine. I'm going to summon Sage Koya, activate the effect, which was dumb on my part since I should have activated Mount Slovenia, but I digress. We're setting Marshall Leaf on the top of the deck. Sage Koya will attack the Ojama Black and we will pass turn. The opponent will set the monster and pass, Mount Slovenia will trigger. Marshal Leaf will be sent to the grave and I'll forget to activate the effect. And activate Mount Sylvania. Uh, the monster Asadu Ishikoya will be set on the top of the deck. We'll do some things and we'll summon a Sage Koya. Sage Koya will trigger excavating a Sage Koya, which will add Silver Charity back to our hand and we'll attack the Ojama Yellow. We can't normal summon the monster, so we're unable to summon the Copy, copy Plant. Spore will be sent to the grave, which is actually quite decent. We'll now activate Sage Coil's effect and do absolutely nothing. Copy Plant will copy the, the level of Sage Coil, so we can make a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. We'll activate, them, we'll activate Part of Everest to shuffle a few cards, draw two, and we top deck reasoning. Our opponent actually says one, which is bad, but we can activate Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper mills Hermit Tree, so everything is wide and dandy. The opponent then just activates Ojama Country, summons uh, Ojama Yellow, gets burned for 500, and passes. So now Medical Fertilizer will summon back the Hermit Tree. We'll get a few cards. Set a couple shroom on the top of the hair deck with a Sylvan uh, with Mount Sylvania. We get another helm tree and we'll summon the Rose Lava with the effect of one for one. And with um, Solar Nutrient, we're able to special summon Sprout. Sage Quail will trigger, give us back the Sylvan Charity. We'll use Rose Lava to summon Lone Fire Blossom. Tribute to Lone Fire to summon Lone Fire. We'll tribute Lone Fire to summon Lone Fire. We'll tribute Lone Fire to summon a Hermit Tree. Hermit Tree will then trigger a part of Avarice. Okay, it's fine. We'll now summon a level 8 monster. 
7 High Protector, we will tune. We are doing all of the tuning, synchroing, and stuff, and the opponent just loses. So, game 3. We're starting with Reasoning, Lone Fire, Blossom Seal, Sylvan Peacekeeper, Pot of Avarice, and Super Solar Nutrient. This isn't half bad, but it could have been better. Especially since the opponent's doing absolutely nothing at T set. What is this? 2002? So we're activate Reasoning, get ourselves a Cherub Sprout, send two cards, Army Tree and Marshall Leaf. Marshall Leaf will destroy the Mizuki, so. Okay, we're seeing an Ice Blossom, so it's definitely not 2002. We're going to summon to Nutrient to get our hands on a Lone Fire Blossom, but that will be negated. However, that was all pre-calculated, so that part of Avarice can be activated and we can draw two cards. On Sylvania, we'll trigger setting a Calm Shroom on the top of our deck, and we will pass turn. The opponent will then activate Mizuki's effect to summon back Ash Blossom. Make Vampire Sucker with the with Glow Up Bloom. Summon Jacko Bolin and attack. That's actually kind of sad. Mount Sylvania will excavate the Kamo Shumo, and the opponent will trigger Shiranui style Swallows style, which is fine in my book. Medical Fertilizer will then trigger summoning back, back to Sage Koya. Sage Koya will activate, nothing actually happens, but still 2600 points of damage is in the face of Jiggle 101. The opponent is top decking, setting a card and passing, so we are going... Oh, a uh, rivalry of warlords. That's fine, we're playing absolutely nothing but plants, so that is okay. So we're summoning back Komushuma. Active, uh, attacking and doing absolutely nothing else. And the opponent sets a monster, which is fine. And now we're going to activate Sage Koya. Hermit Tree, Sage Koya again. We're normal summon Marshall Leaf. Hermit Tree again. We'll summon Oria, the Sylvan High Arbiter. Activate the effect, nothing actually happens, and we're going to proceed with the attack. Ghost Bill and Haunted Mansion is getting hit in the face, as well as Jiggle 101. Mizuki is summoned and he's just going to try and self destruct. But no, he summons Doom King Bower Drop. Too bad for him, our monster is as powerful as his. So we're just going to do stuff here. We're going to crash and win. And the final replay of this video with Hermitry, Spore, Lone Fire, and Double Sylvan Charity was starting against Kujo. And his Salmon Great. He's using a circle to get Gazelle. Summon Set Gazelle, activate the effect. Send the roll to the graveyard. Now Spinny will trigger. Summon itself. Bail links. Sanctuary, set Sanctuary, Link Summon, Sunlight Wolf, Link Summon, Silent, Sunlight Wolf, get Roar back, set a card and pass. So, what we're going to do? We're going to summon Lone Fire, which is going to get Veilered. Activate Sylvan Charity, which is going to get Ashed. Activate Rose Bell, which is going to get Roared. Activate this, because why the fuck not? And we pass our turn. Salmon Grades are, are just that, are Salmon Grades, I, I hate Salmon Grades. So the opponent recycles Raw, summons a Spin, and summons Bail Links, get back to Gazelle, sets two and passes. I wonder what, I'll, what he might have in his hand. So we're going to activate Mount Sylvania, which is going to get Raw, which is actually quite fine. Seven Charity will do stuff. Rose Bell will summon Hermit Tree, which is big, and that will be met with a soul with a solemn strike. But we are able to get our Lone Fire Blossoms going, as well as a Hermit Tree. Hermit Tree will set cards in our on the top of our deck, so everything is fine. We now have the strongest monster on the field, and the opponent will just summon Gazelle, Sand. Something I don't know the card. 
I will recycle raw, activate Skynet Mining. So basically he's almost got nothing, from what I can see. Oh no, he's going to link some Underworld Goddess Dukeki, the link 5 which can use the opponent monster, which is bad. But we have Medical Fertilizer, and that will do absolutely nothing. We summon Peacekeeper who is going to activate Sage Koya. Now we're going to activate Southern Charity, which we recycle with said Sage Koya. We're going to bring back Hermitry, Hermitry will trigger Sprout. Cherub Sprout will summon Spore. That will summon the Crocodile Combo Blocks guy, and we'll banish Sage Koya to summon Cloud Castle. Send to Cross the Grave, summon Phantom Fortress, very weird name, banish a the Bale Links and attack into that Gazelle. Now Foxy will be summoned. Excavating cards, getting raw. Death will summon another Bale Links. Set the card and pass. So the thing we have to do here, activate the effect so that raw is triggered. Now we're going to summon the Hermit Tree. Hermit will, Tree will trigger, but that doesn't matter. We have the strongest monster on the board after destroying that Bale Links. Hoodie Pond is just top decking, which isn't good for a Salamangrate deck. We're activating Mount Sylvania, Miracle Fertilizer will summon another Hermit Tree. We're going to send our Rose Lover to the grave so we can set a Kamoshroom on the top of uh, our deck. And with that we're going to destroy the Sanctuary. Activate the effects, send another monster and another and another. Bring back the copy plant, activate the effect, copy the effect of the level of Sage Koya, make some Xyz plays, do some stuff, and the opponent monster is gone. We are really doing a lot of things here. Like very much. Uh, Sage Koya is summoned, Sage Koya will activate the effect. Nothing will happen and we're just going to go for game. We kind of styled at the end over there. Hello, I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, Delvins. They can do a really great amount of weird things. So, let's go through card by card. We have Triple Hermit Tree, Triple Sage Koya, Triple Lone Fire Blossom, Double Martial Leaf, One Como Shurumo, One Copy Plant, One Rose Lover, Spore, Double Cherub Sprout. Triple Peacekeeper, one Prince at Sprout. One Reborn, one one for one, double Avarice, one Reasoning, triple Bell Rose of Revelation, triple Sylvan Charity, one Terraforming, double Mo triple Miracle Fertilizer, one Super Solar Nutri- two Super Solar Nutrients and double Mount Sylvania. The Rose Bell of Revelation can search a plant monster with 2400 or more attack points, which is Sage Koya and Hermit Tree. As for the extra deck, we're playing already Rose Dragon, Cloud Castle, Ravenous Croc Dragon, Arathic Blabble, Cyframe Lord Omega, Peralio Elm Empress of Blossom, Garden Rose Maiden, Phantom Fortress, very weird name I cannot pronounce. I'll say the Sylvan High Protector, number 89, Diablos the Mind Hacker, Orea the Sylvan High Arbiter, Red Eyes Fleur Metal Dragon, Rika Queen Sterna, and of course Sylvan Pri uh, Sprite, Prince Sylvan Princess Sprite, one Jasmine and one Crossroad Dragon. This deck is basically just dump everything to the grave and see what happens. And that would be it for today. And next time we will be starting the Red Eyes month. So I'll see you then. Check out any out. Peace.